Wow, friends, it is finally ready. Big changes are coming to Social Security. These changes are very important and will affect millions of Americans' monthly benefit checks. Senior citizens and Social Security beneficiaries will see their monthly payment boosted in just a few weeks. Please make sure that you watch until the end of this video, especially if you receive SSI benefits. Also, to say thank you for joining me here every day, I'm giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards every week. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and commenting below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. During the months of October, November, and December, I will be giving away surprise $200 gift cards to those of you that have been in this community for several months. I know right now may be a very difficult time for many people, and I want you all to know that I'm committed to supporting all of you as much as I can. Nations, one of the most competent in the country. It's great to be here at IBM here in Poughkeepsie. You know, an iconic American company founded more than 100 years ago, and uh, that has more patents than any other U.S. company, than any other, and I feel it's going to keep going. And the source of American jobs, American innovation, American pride. And it's here, it's here at this factory and the factories of other companies across America where America's future is literally being built. Because of the groundbreaking Chips and Science Act that I signed into law with the help of the Majority Leader Schumer, and members of the Congress are here today. Chuck stayed the course, stuck with me, and we got it done. And folks, by the way, just since we've been elected, we've created 678,000 new manufacturing jobs. Where, and we're just getting started. Where is it written that we can't lead manufacturing in the world? I don't know where that's written. And that's one of the things the CHIPS Act is going to change. The law that's going to build a future and a proud, proud legacy, not only for IBM, but for the country. A legacy of innovation and manufacturing that exists in this region of New York. It was here in Poughkeepsie where the rifles for World War I were made. Where the first electric typewriters, calculators, even cough drops were made. I brought some with All right, friends. So inflation has taken a heavy toll on the U.S. economy this year, more than one-third of adults have dipped into their savings to cover living expenses, and personal savings rate dropped to a 14-year low of 3% in June. According to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, inflation has made life especially difficult for retirees who depend on Social Security. Medicare Part B premiums jumped 14.5% this year. That is the fourth largest increase in the last two decades. And prices across several other spending categories, such as food, gas, and electricity, rose at double-digit pace in August. Based on that data, the 5.9% cost of living adjustment applied to Social Security benefits in 2022 fell short. The good news is that there are three big changes in 2023 that could help retirees on Social Security to fight inflation. Social Security COLAs protect the purchasing power of benefits by ensuring they keep up with rising prices. Inflation hit a 40-year high several times this year, meaning the COLA in 2023 is on pace to be the largest in four decades. In fact, Mark Goldwyn of the Committee for Responsible Federal Budget says that retirees could see a 9% COLA next year. A 9% COLA would bump the average monthly benefit paid to retired workers to about $1,823 in 2023. That is an increase of $150 per month. The average monthly benefit paid to spouses of retired workers would roughly be $908. That is an increase of $75 per month. That extra cash should help offset rising prices at the grocery stores and gas stations. Social Security recipients aged 65 and older are automatically enrolled in Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B, unless you specifically opt out. Most beneficiaries receive Medicare Part A for free, provided they have paid Medicare taxes 
for at least 10 years. But Medicare Part B premiums are automatically deducted from Social Security benefits each month. After a massive price hike this year, the standard Medicare Part B premium is projected to drop 3% to $164.90. Friends, that is great news for retirees. It means that a smaller portion of the Social Security check will be deducted to cover Medicare Part B premiums each month. Given the trajectory inflation has followed this year, some beneficiaries may have decided to remain in the workforce after claiming Social Security. Working individuals who claim Social Security before full retirement age will see a temporary reduction in benefits if their earnings exceed certain limits. In 2022, the earnings limit is $19,560 for individuals under full retirement age, if wages exceed that threshold, $1 in benefits will be deducted for every $2 in earnings over that limit. For example, an individual under full retirement age who earns $34,560 this year will see their Social Security benefit reduced by $7,500. Two Washington Democrats, Senator Maisie Hirono, and Representative Ted Deutsch have teamed up to reintroduce legislation to strengthen Social Security. Their bill, which is called the Protecting and Preserving Social Security Act, aims to extend the program's ability to pay benefits. The Social Security Administration projects the program's combined funds will run out in the year 2035, at which point only 80% of benefits will be payable. Senator Hirono and Ted Deutsch's proposal would extend that by bringing a depletion date to 2052. According to an analysis of the plan by the Social Security Administration, by the end of the projected 75-year period, the plan would reduce the federal deficit by about $12.3 trillion. With just 13 years until Social Security's funds are projected to run out, other Democrats have also put forward plans to extend that timeline while also making benefits more generous. Currently, Social Security is funded through payroll taxes of 6.2% paid by both workers and their employers. But those taxes only apply to income of up to $147,000 as of this year. Senator Hirono and Representative Duce's bills calls for phasing out the cap over the next seven years. For contributions above the cap, it would provide additional benefits. Senator Sanders and Elizabeth Warren's proposal would apply the payroll tax on all income above $250,000 a year, including capital gains, while also raising taxes on net investment income and certain business income. John Larson's bill calls for reapplying the payroll taxes for wages above $400,000 a year. The difference between the current cap and the $400,000 threshold would eventually close as a cap goes up every year. Friends, the key word for this video is Augusta, Maine. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Augusta, Maine and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. Remember, friends, that the more keywords that you enter in the comment section below of each video that you watch, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful and blessed day. All these services and necessary things it does for the people of the United States. And this CR does many, many good things. I want to just focus on one of them. The 87,000 extra new uh, agents to be hired uh, for enforcement by the Internal Revenue Service. That is an excellent thing because what will they do? They will go after the rich people. By the terms of the statute, by the terms of the CR, they cannot, go, they cannot be used for enforcement of taxes against anybody earning less than $400,000. So we're not talking about the middle class. But the rich people in this country are cheating. They are cheating tremendously. They're cheating to the tune of tens of billions of dollars because they know they can get away with it. And because there's no manpower or woman power to enforce the law. This will give us the manpower to enforce the law. 
This will enable us to get revenue. Can I have 30 seconds? Yes, I, I yield 30 seconds to the gentleman. Gentleman from New York is recognized. Thank you, lady. This will give us the manpower to enforce the law and to make sure that the rich pay their fair share and therefore there can be more services for the middle class and for low-income people in this country, which is exactly what the government is for. So this is one of the best things it does. I urge everyone to vote for the CR, in particular because of the, 200, of the, 200, of the 87,000 extra agents